Hey everybody, it's Joshua again. I'm the voice of Eugene Porter, and well, I figured since there weren't a lot of fan questions, I'd give you some insider tips on what I do to become a voice actor, or whether what I rather what I do to be a voice actor for this show. One thing is, don't be afraid to make a lot of screw-ups like you just saw. Because, trust me, unless you're someone like Jim Cummings, or Nolan North, or Steve Blum, or Bloom, I don't know how you say it, I think it's Bloom, you will make at least one screw-up. It doesn't mean you're a bad voice actor. It means you're normal. We're all starters at one point. But basically, what I did with Dr. Stevens was, basically, I just used my regular speaking voice. I have kind of a twang in my voice because I've got, I had some speech problems when I was a kid, and I'd rather not go into them, but because of them, I have kind of a twang. It's kind of a mix between a twang and a slur. But it does give me a distinctive voice. So I've been able to incorporate that. Now for Eugene, I wanted to give him a little more husky kind of tone. But the problem with the first issue is I went too husky and he started to sound like Dr. Henry Kissinger. So I had... And so for, for future episodes or future issues, I had to like try to tone it down, maybe make it more, what would you say? Oh yeah, intelligible to where you could actually understand what he was saying. And I think I've gotten, I think I've gotten quite a good balance. I've made him a little, he's still a little husky, but at least now he's his own person and he can be heard. And I didn't fucking break the mic this time! That... I actually did break one mic trying to do the recording. Let's just say some mayonnaise was involved. It was really embarrassing. But, you know what? Mistakes happen. Especially when you're recording when you're hungry and eating hot dogs. Who oh boy. Anyways. Now... Another thing I want to suggest to anyone who's wanting to become a voice actor, don't be afraid to start in something small. Every person started out in a small beginning. Everybody has to find that, that one discovery that will get them into the business. For me, it's walking bread. For you, it could be something else. One side I go to that helps me a lot with voice acting is Casting Call Dot Club. They have tons of projects there. They are always looking for talent. Some paid, some not. But it's usually chock full of opportunities for you to get your feet wet in the voice acting business. And it's just a ton of fun. You may meet some people who are kind of dickish, but I'm not going to give names. Because most of them there are really, really sweet. Oh, I know something else. I want to actually give a plea to Robert Kirkman. This is similar to what Stephen Moon did when you killed him off in the comics. Please don't kill Eugene off in the TV show. I need a career. <laughs> Please, Kirkman. Eugene's becoming too much of a badass to kill. If he's killed by Negan, I'm going to be severely annoyed and have to have words with you. <laughs> I don't know if you'll ever hear this, but, you know, whatever. Just for the sake of giggles. Anyways, hmm, I can't really think of much else I want to say. You've all been awesome listening this far. I'm looking forward to voicing more episodes to come. I plan on voicing Eugene until his death. If that ever comes, God willing it doesn't. We know no one can be safe here. But 
I'm willing to stay in for the long ride. Alright, let's start with the fan question from, let's see who we've got. Legs McKick Crotch, that's a pretty cool name. And Legs asks, Upon biting a man in the junk, Eugene is starting an ascent to becoming something of a badass. Now, hoping he's not immediately killed off this season, how do you think Eugene will or should further develop as a character? Hmm. Honestly, I'd like to see him continue to develop as a badass. God willing, that he's not the one that Negan kills, because I've heard there's been a few theories that he's the one that gets his head bludgeoned in. But, I know that the comics and the TV show are their own separate entities. So, just because a character dies in the TV show doesn't necessarily mean that their fate is sealed for the comics, and vice versa. Now, the next questions are from you guys. Why did you want to play Eugene? <sighs> Eugene, I guess I've just found a lot in common with him. I mean... We're both intelligent. We're both socially awkward. I, I don't know. We both... You can tell Eugene has slight traces of Asperger's. You can tell. You can't read one issue of the comic and tell me he doesn't have it. But just... Eugene... Eugene feels like a lot like what I would be in an, in an apocalypse like this. Yes, I would have to lie, but I would be lying in order to survive. I think that's why I like Eugene so much. <laughs> when did you first want to try voice acting? I have always wanted to be a voice actor. Ever since I was a child, when I w back in the days when I'd watch shows like The Angry Beavers, Tiny Toon Adventures, Muppet Babies, some of the classics... I always, always wanted to be a voice actor. I started off small, reading for kids at libraries and in classrooms. I think in libraries, maybe just in classrooms, I'm not exactly sure. But from then on, I turned to becoming a freelance voice actor and, well... Walking Bread's really helped me break into the business. And it's been pretty awesome. Fa what has been my favorite issue to voice for? Now that one, there's actually two. One, I can't remember the issue number, but it's, I believe it's 63 when Eugene and Gabriel are having their argument over religion. I like that one because... Honestly, a lot of what Eugene feels regarding religion, I feel. I mean, when, I mean, just like, I'm not going to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't read the issue, but how can you really have blind faith in something that really hasn't given you a reason to have it? And the other issue that I'd say has been a blaster issue to voice for, definitely issue 67. I was... We all call it the Eugene issue. Just getting to really dive into what makes Eugene Porter who he is. His backstory, what he had to do to survive the apocalypse. It, it, it was just thrilling. Although, honestly, Jack Bates' performance as Carl Grimes was also spot on, and I will not lie, I actually wept a little at it. Jack, you, you've got serious skills. All of you do. Without any spoilers, is there an issue you can't wait for? I could say, actually, there are a few episodes that I'm looking forward to getting to, to voice in. Let's just say that, that I'm interested in maybe trying other characters... Besides Eugene. Not going to say who, but I may be interested in trying other characters. This is, this is honestly a thrill. The thrill of a lifetime. I'm getting to voice 
in a piece of The Walking Dead, and it feels fucking awesome. I mean, I don't have much in my life. But this, to have you fans, to have Josh and Alex, to have everyone, it means more than you will ever know. Each time I get another comment saying, you rock, the voice for Eugene is awesome, the voice for Eugene is great, it, it just... It, it is why I do this. It is why I do this every day. And all I can say to my fans, all I can say to everyone is thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being being true fans. I promise I will try to be on as long as I can. <laughs>